Hello, hi, and welcome back to some more Civilization VI friends with me, to Zero. We are at war with Spain, uh, and we want to do that war really quick because we're going to be at war with Scythia, and it's a hundred million horses very soon. Luckily, uh, all Spain has is some silly spearmen, and they're not going to last very long. Yeah, so the thing about Scythia, Baby J, why they have so many troops, is that every time they build a horse, they get two. But still, this is absolutely ridiculous, even for, like, something's broken with the AI here. And I don't know how I'm gonna go to war against that. This is just... I'm gonna have to, because... Like, that's just insane. But they are, like, all crappy horses, right? They're not anything fancy. They're not knights. They're not... All right, let's see. Let's keep bombarding the city over here. Very good. Very good progress we're doing here. You are at 67 health, so you're fine. Let's shoot at this guy from the back. There we go. He's dead. Now, this crossbowman... We'll probably shoot at the city. We want to lower its health. I mean, seriously, Scythia is going absolutely insane with troops. That's why I need to go to war with her while I have a tech advantage. Uh, yeah. Well, they have a spearman there, but I think... I need this war to be really short, so I think I will attack with the spearman, uh, the musketman. Yeah, they're, they're halfway down. So, a couple more turns, this is gonna be dealt with. Then we'll peace out once we got Madrid. Uh, and we've destroyed that. They, Spain is still gonna be in the game, they have Seville. But, um, they're gonna be basically not our problem anymore. Because there's no way they can mount an attack on us in any possible way once we have Madrid. So then we'll be able to concentrate everything we have on this war <laughs> that's coming. Um, you know what? I should build another bombard, not only for the tech boost, but these bombards are pretty good and having like one on each front would actually help a lot. Okay, unit needs order. Yeah, I want you to go to Yerevan for six gold. That's pretty good. Uh, our boat, we can keep shooting at these spearmen. Promotions available. Also, we're getting like promotions. We, we lost Suzerain status with Yerevan again? Okay, at least no one's the Suzerain of Yerevan. Yeah, seriously, Scythia and, and us are like fighting for Yerevan because that's gonna be... Also, seriously, Tomaris, the leader of Scythia, has been at war with Geneva since for a thousand years now. Probably more than that. And has made no progress despite having all the horses in the world. All of them. Uh, someone built the pyramids. That's a bit late. And Yerevan has made peace with Philippe. Enemy spy stole money from Paris! That's terrible. But we, we have gained sources. Okay. Galley is ready for a promotion. What? What? Combat strength when formation could be good. Uh, Alright, but uh, right now we just want to keep damaging their spearmen. Yeah, we're going to need a defensive spy in Paris eventually. Okay, bombard. Let's keep bombarding Madrid. Get our spearmen to attack. Oh, not a spearmen, but our crossbowmen. My god, they have so many bonuses to defense. That's crazy. Um, can shoot him with the encampment. That was a nicely placed encampment for this war. And you can really see what, like, placing your unit, your uh, district strategically can do for you. 
This guy's taking a beating. I think we can probably kill him. Yeah. So Madrid should fall next turn. In, in, in my humble opinion. Next turn Madrid falls. Yeah. And then it's, it's going to be about finishing this war. Making peace. And preparing the next one. Paris, what you got for me? Campus would be good. Harbor would be good. Walls are not really needed. You need amenities. Industrial zone. But I really want to... Sp oh, that's too slow. Yeah, we need, a, we need an industrial zone in, in, in Paris. Where's the best place to build it? Probably over here. It's getting boosted from this. Boosted from this, boosted from this, and it, we build a mine there, it's gonna be boosted again, okay. Let's build our industrial district right here. Excellent. You. Uh, how's your housing? Housing's fine. We could either build a workshop, but I think I'll build a bombard, because I want another bombard. For not only the tech boost, but also for... War. War is coming. Keep messing up our units. Okay. Luckily, we still have like a lot of hills and forests on our borders, which is gonna really slow down those horses. Uh, where is this? This is Nant. You don't even have medieval walls yet. Yeah, you you kind of need. Uh, but you're. How long would it take you to build an aqueduct? Nine turns. But no, I I need I need a medieval. Oh, twelve turns. I need a medieval walls like. War is coming. I'd have to keep telling myself that. And if Tomeris doesn't declare war on me, I will declare war on her. Because I can't I can't have this. I cannot have that. That's just too much. And to be honest, one of the scary things she could do is just send them all through the water and just land everywhere. We're gonna need actual boats. Um you want to sabotage our production or steal our money? 220 gold. Let's try to steal our money. It's also what we're most likely to do. Yeah, siphon some funds out of there. What's the name of this spy? Delphine. Alright. Sneak Baby J in the middle of the horses and pull the pin of a grenade? Man, what we need is a freaking nuclear bomb. We need to nuke our horses. Oh, also, I remember... I just remember... Uh, at the, the end of last session, I, I looked and we found out when we sent our spy... That Tomaris... Oh, it's not there anymore. So she is backstab averse, but before we saw that her hidden agenda is that she is more than happy to use nukes. She's like, she will use nukes, no problem, nuke the world. So that's even more scary. That's true, we can declare a protectorate war because she's at war with our allied city-state. Oh my, that's something we can... Mm. All right, uh, we need to take Madrid right now. We need to, to stop this. Uh, let's bombard Madrid. Just blow up their defenses. Take the city. Surrender. Yeah. And apparently, the success of our musket man. Oh yeah, square rigging. We've captured a unit from Spain. Very good. Very decent. Uh, next up, we want to destroy this guy. Can we destroy it with the back crossbowman? Yes, we can. So we can either now give a promotion to this guy. Uh, we kind of have to because you can't shoot at anything else. That's good. That's good. Plus five range strength. Can you name cities? Actually, you cannot, Baby J. That is a bug or missing feature. You can't rename cities yet. Uh, as soon as we can rename city, I will rename the cities after people, subscribers, but there's no there's no possibility to do that yet until there's a patch. 
Uh, we definitely want to keep this city. And we got a wonder from that, haven't we? Yeah, the Mahabadi Temple. Very good. Very nice. And now we control this straight. That makes me very happy. Okay, let's try to clear the waters around here. But now we want to... Spain has lost its capital. Yeah, we know about that. Bonus resources of copper. Excellent. Yervan has declared war on Philip. Really? Am I the suzerain of... Huh. I don't know how I happened to become their suzerain again, but I, I'll take it. Uh, Musketman is ready for a promotion. Not this turn. Need more amenities. Okay. So Madrid's been taken. Can we make peace with Philip? Hey there, Philip. Uh, I guess we can't because it's been too short amount of time. That's okay. We can use his, his troops as target practice for a little while. You can name troops, though. Yes, that's true, Baby J. You can name troops. Uh, I, I, I could. If you want a, a troop named after you. I think they have to be level 2. But if, if you want, I, I got some level 2 troops lying around. If you guys want to be named, uh, troops named after you, let me know. And I will name troops after you. I'll be more than happy. Okay, Toulouse. You've been producing basically nothing but units. Oh, that's why we're losing so much money. Because we have so big an army. I do want more musket men, but I need more money right now. So, let's get some money. You want a good troop. Okay, do you want a, a melee troop or a ranged troop, Baby J? Or a boat. You could also have a boat named after you. Uh, Lyon. Harbor would be nice. And we could have it... Didn't I want to build it in like a, a, a crazy spot? Like... Over here or something? I don't remember where I wanted to build the... I should have put a pin on it. You want to be a ranged troop? Alright, we'll, we'll find you a good ranged troop, Baby J. Um, ancient walls. I don't really need that in here. Holy site. Campus. Oh yeah, also, th someone told me that in a lot of cases, there were things I could purchase with faith, like buildings I could have purchased with faith, and I could purchase mi missionaries and inquisitors and stuff. But I kind of, I kind of missed out on, on some buildings I could have uh, just straight up bought. Uh, Urdawa. Alright, uh, but in the meantime, okay, Lyon. What do we build in Lyon? Um, right now we really need more money, so it's going to take 19 turns, but I think a bank is the right thing to do. Or a harbor. Oh, I don't know what to do. Commercial hub, huh? I think I build my harbor next to commercial hub. That's what's going to give us the most money. Let's build a harbor. Yeah. Fine. Choose production. Uh, you, Toledo, could use an armory, but that costs money. Uh, probably go for the... Oh, temple costs money as well. If we build a temple, then we can buy the Gurda Gurdwara. Oh, I, I, I know it, it's... Not everyone can make it to all of my streams, ABJ. I kind of put them at different times so that different people can make it. Like, some people won't be able to make the Monday stream, but they could do the Tuesday and Thursday, and, you know, because there's people from all around the world. Okay, let's uh, repair Madrid. Why don't we? That would be nice. A trade route from Toledo. Could we go to um, Mambanza over here? Let's go to Yerevan. It's the one that gives us the most money. And I really need money right now. Because I have a ginormous army. Although, you know... Let's put things in perspective here. Pardon me. I got hiccups. 
Okay. Um, okay. We will want to make peace with Spain as soon as possible. Bom Brazil! Dia. É uma honra conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. Hey there. Right. Um, would you like to visit our nearby city? <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Very good. Now we're gonna try to be friendly with this guy. Because... Being friendly is good. Uh, we have a lot of enemies. We don't want more. Here! Would, can I build an embassy? <laughs> They're happy to let's construct an embassy. Very good. Uh, we now have... A lot of access level. Oh, he's new Cappy as well. Has no hesitation to use nuclear weapons. That's a lot of new Cappy people on this map. Uh, Mabanza Congo, do we have a... Um, yeah, we must have a... Uh, embassy with you. Right, can I make peace with you yet? I cannot. That's alright. Okay, here's our musket man. Let's move you down here. And give you the promotion. Uh, let's give you battle frag. There we go. Now... Okay, these are our elite crossbow men, which we're gonna rename after Baby J. The Baby J's. Butt kickers. There we go. And the Baby J butt kickers. Hey, I got an achievement for that! Thank you! Um, okay, we can move you here. And we can sh start shooting at these guys while they're in the water. We can bring this guy over here and shoot at this guy again. There we go. We can hurt this guy a little bit more. Now we're gonna need to bring... Hmm, do I want to bring the bombard back home just yet? Or we could just bombard this guy, give it more experience. Yeah, why don't we give our Bombard more experience? There we go. <laughs> why would I think different of you, Baby J? Everyone... Everyone's a different thing. You're allowed to like the things you like. That, that's not a problem for me. Um... Okay, now, I really want to recruit some, like, Inquisitors to come remove this... Hinduism, so that we could push the zeroism on these guys to be proper the zeroists. Also, we're gonna need some workers soon because we have some unimproved resources. Hmm. Uh, but let's fate by an inquisitor and probably an apostle. Maybe even a mission. No, we were out. Of oh, we just don't have any room. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're gonna send these guys down there. We'll probably send some missionaries. We're gonna try to. Remove this Hinduism from here. It was actually a, an, an achievement, Baby J. Like, it, I don't think you guys see them, but it popped up for me. Um, okay, what else do we need? Pedro, we've met you. We need more amenities. We need more housing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. City needs food. Oh, Madrid. Yeah, because we just captured you. All right. Uh, Spain. No, I already check if we could make peace. I, I'm just, I just want to make peace so much. I just wanted to take Madrid. No, no hard feelings, Spain, right? Right? Okay, Madrid, repair that granary of yours. And yeah, we got a free settler out of the deal. You know, I have this settler waiting down here just in case there's something of value. Where's Brazil? Brazil's over here. They're quite far away. Where would I build another city? I could build one over here. Get horses. Get some dyes, uh, silks. Get some rice. Crab, crab, fish. Yeah, but at the same time... I don't really need to build a city there, like, unless there's some resources. So why don't I send this settler in Rouen? And then if we discover that there's some resources over there, that are not just luxuries, but are like actually strategic. Do we have silk actually? 
Yeah, we do. So we don't need silk. So if we discover that there's any like strategic resources like uranium or something over there in the future, we'll be able to build a city there and get them. But in the meantime, I really don't need them. Really, really don't need them. All right. Well, Madrid's ours. Still burning a little bit, but it's ours. Why don't we take a short break right here? Thanks a lot for watching. He's dead. He's not dead. He's dead. He's not dead. He's dead. This is like the gu the guilty pleasure of XCOM. So, it's gonna suit your rash, right? You got a rash, you put this on, but your skin's gonna get inflamed, you're gonna start hallucinating, and you're gonna have a hard time breathing. That's not the best of medicines. In Flanders fields, the puppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. Pick up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break fate with us who die, we shall not sleep, though puppies grows in Flanders fields.